Introducing first from the mean streets of Osaka, Japan, Zero Gold. commemorating it and also the belt. This match has a 30 minute time limit. It is not for the faint of heart. Don't know how still Zero Gold wormed his way into this or Mark, we should say Marcus the Science Smith wormed his way into it. Now Marcus the Science Smith has done or pulled a hat trick you know to end up here he used his uh, manipulative skills, wormed his way into it, goaded Brandon, knowing full well Brandon is not going to turn down the challenge. But in the same token, is Brandon playing into the hands of Marcus the Science Smith? Imagine if Zero Gold does win that King of the Iron Man belt. I'm sure Marcus would find a way to worm it out of him, Zero Gold, trying to intimidate Brandon with martial arts. A hint of martial arts. Let's see if he really has any. He moves like it. Marcus, I mean, uh, Brandon not intimidated. Zero gold. Badass Brandon Campbell. And they lock up. They lock up like two guys that move. Brandon Campbell immediately gets over with his size advantage. I'll be right back. I'm going to get that belt off the side of the ring. Sorry to leave, that, leave you guys hanging, but that had to be done. Now, you know Marcus the Science Smith, one way, shape, or form, is going to be a chess piece in this one. Zero gold, though. So far, he's got nerves to steal. And look at that huge go behind takedown. And now, who's intimidated? Looks to me like zero gold while Marcus the Science Smith is over there taking his tape off. Marcus looks very serious. This makes me concerned. You know, I feel like Brandon's at a disadvantage not having a second tonight. I'm sure Jake has it probably offered. Brandon told him, I don't need it. I got this. Here we go. Zero is smart taking his time and not rushing in. He's got the wrist lock on Brandon. He's got the wrist lock on Brandon Campbell. And he rings at the shoulder. And Mo. Oh, 
Brandon with a beautiful short arm clothesline and zero hit the back of his head there. Before he can get to the ropes, he should have gone to the ropes taking a book out of Marcus. There's another short arm clothesline slash lariat, and that one was worse than the first one. And there's the third one, and zero finally adheres to Marcus the Science Smith's will. Bails out of that ring to reset things. That was smart. Last thing he's wanted to tangle with this Brandon Campbell when he's in his own, man. It's a whole nother gear a lot of people don't possess. I want you guys to remember that name Brandon Campbell because in five years, you can be able to say I remember one because this kid will probably be a household name within a decade. Zero is reset. See, he's brought the tempo down. And this time it's Brandon gets right on the left arm of Zero. Zero gold. Zero with some knife edge chops. Or knife edge shots. Right to the solar plexus, right in between, there, right under where the rib cage comes together, which knocks the wind right out of you, no matter your size. Brandon, though, look at the strength. He could hold them all night. And there's a backbreaker, and that's one way out of the hold. Unbelievable. And there's a second one, and Brandon's not done. Look at that, he's not even breathing hard, carrying this full grown 190, 200 pound man. Broke him in half. Zero's legs are moving, but man, oh, unbelievable. And Brandon now is back on that left arm. Oh, and that's 235 pounds right down on that elbow. But it looks like the shoulder is compromised by Zero. And Zero wisely gets under the ropes. He probably wants to give or tap. Brandon knows his way around these King of the Ironmans. He knows how to go 30 minutes. It was a few months back, again, Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon. Rose Acosta and Brandon Campbell did 60-minute King of the Ironman. It was a good match. Five minutes gone. Zero gold, though, not cowering now. Referee and Anderson right in there, keeping an eye on things. Brandon Campbell. Goaded him into it. He's got the wrist lock again. And with authority, Zero's body language tells you a lot about this one. And Brandon goes for the leg sweep. He got him that time. Now, nice balance by Zero Gold, really. Brandon didn't just have to sweep. He kind of had to kick the leg out from underneath him. And now that clavicle is being compromised. He's got a handful of hair. He's using Brandon's hair to get up to his feet. You know how much that hurts? Drives him back into the corner with some thighs, and yes, he is a gifted martial artist. He knows what he's doing out there because he's hitting in the sweet spots. Not sweet if you're Brandon Campbell. Heeding the referee's warning, the last thing he wants to do is get disqualified in this matchup. And Brandon's getting up. Zero might have already closed that window. Nope. We waited just enough time right before Brandon. Nope, oh, I spoke too soon. Here it comes. And listen to those forearms thumping off the chest of Zero Gold. Wow. Broke him in half with that, BL. And Zero Gold wisely goes into the ropes, and he's hanging to the ropes. The only thing holding him up. Oh, Brandon with a beautiful clothesline. And there's another one with the left. And there's the right lifting him off of his feet. Right now, Pardon my French, but Zero Gold is Brandon Campbell's bitch! Has he splashed him? There's a hip toss, and Zero Gold don't know where he is. He's been turned inside out and rocked. And a cover with a hook and leg. One, two, and I don't know how Zero Gold kicked out of there. He must be one hell of an athlete underneath there because he's absorbed a lot of punishment from a much bigger opponent. Brandon is back up on that left arm overhand wrist. He knows if Brandon gets that leg, which he just did, now he's fighting from the high ground. Like the art of war, the, the art of war, the book by Sun Tzu. Fight from the higher ground. You fight your opponent, attack your opponent from the high ground whenever you can. Brandon Campbell knows this. Zero gold though, powering up. Give him credit. And I don't give him credit for that. 
He's out of that hold. He goes out to the apron, and look at that. He goes out to Marcus the Science Smith for a talking to, instruction. He's definitely got the ire up of Brandon Campbell, and maybe that's what he is trying to do. Brandon gets mad. Brandon burns energy. Brandon burns energy. Brandon gets tired. Brandon gets tired, and Zero Gold takes over. Or Zero Gold able to cut him off, put him in some sort of way, shape, or form for Marcus the Science Smith to take over. Anyway, that's the chest part. Here we go again. And look at that. Brandon Campbell wasting no time going right back to that arm. It's kind of like starting over. That arm is punished, but it's not as inflamed, you know, as it was 90 seconds ago before the masked man went outside the ring. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Referee asking if he wants to give. And look at that. He turned him inside out, and that's going to separate his shoulder at the very least. At least a slight separation. Well, I've had several separated. Oh, and there it is. There it is. And that just allows Zero Gold the opportunity to try to get a pinfall. Hopefully not. No, Brandon fires off with that lower body strength. And Zero Gold, oh, Brandon, he goes right to the ropes, man. Brandon has got to the count of five. But I'll tell you, I think Zero Gold wisely going to the ropes like that saved him from losing a fall. Brandon with a palm strike to the side of the head, the jaw, I don't know, but somewhere in there. Snap mare, Brandon Campbell, forearm to the back. And back to that left arm. Yeah, he's trying to dislocate that shoulder, man. Brandon is really working smart in there, as both men are. He is working different smart in different ways. Brandon's taking the high load, high road. Zero gold under the direction of Marcus the Science Smith is taking the low road. But right now, Brandon's dominating. But look at Zero. Give him credit. He's getting up to his feet. He's up to his feet. Palm strike right now. Solar plexus again. Every time he hits him, it knocks the wind right out of Brandon's lungs. Look at where he's hitting, too. Oh, and then he throws the knee right into the same spot. You see and hear the air leaving Brandon's lungs. Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes gone. And that was impressive because not too many people put Brandon Campbell on his ass in the corner. And now he's just being mean and he's really unloading. And Brandon is just getting stopped. There's nothing pretty about it. Zero gold heating the referee's warning. Zero gold in the far corner. Zero gold coming in. But Brandon playing a little uh, a little possum there. Oh, there, man. He's got the mass man reeling. And look at this. Brandon goes back to the power game. He goes back to the power game. What a beautiful slam. It's got to really confuse and turn you upside down. Oh! With that, what athleticism? One, two, no! Once again, Zero Gold has proved to me he deserves to be in there. I'm sorry. My job is supposed to be to call it up the middle. And that's what I'm trying to do here and give credit where credit's due. But I guess it wouldn't be fun if Brandon just came out here and bowled over him. So it's good. We win. Brandon, you never win. A trading of the blows challenge with Brandon Campbell. The only one that I've seen stand up to Brandon when it comes to trading blows is his tag team partner, Jake Hazard. Don't forget, tomorrow night, if you're in Southeast Wisconsin or Chicagoland, badass Brandon Campbell, Jake Hazard team up for Marcus the Science Smith and Charlie Hustle's tag team championships. They want to win them back, folks. Come on out and support them. And look at Brandon going to town going to town. He was calculated and now he's being aggressive and that's it. Nope. Zero's back into it. I thought he was out, folks. Honest to God. Hand it to him. He's an athlete. There he goes over the top rope to the floor. Yeet! And Brandon Campbell could go ahead and take a count out win for the uh, count out call. No, there's no count out. He's coming out of watch this. Nobody home. Nobody home. And now, Zero Gold might be the one to get the count out victory. There was nobody home. Unbelievable. Brandon Campbell, I don't see any movement whatsoever. Marcus the Science Smith must not see any either because he's over there getting involved there. Maybe it's the referee catching him. He might get that first fall. Nope, there's Brandon's head. Oh, he's in a nine. He's in a son of a bitch. What heart. What heart. 
Cover by zero. Two count. Badass Brandon Campbell, one for the high risk move. Kind of took himself out of the equation. Marcus the Science Smith being his cheerleader. And look at this, zero goal, working on the nerves, the back, the rhomboid region, the spine. Yeah, back to the neck, base of the skull area. Palm strike into those nerves in the trapezius. I don't know what he's signaling for. He's digging into those trapezius, and that hurts, folks. Just if you're sitting on the couch with somebody watching this on Twitch, grab them right there and squeeze. Tell me, to, or have them tell you how it feels. Is Brandon to the ropes? No, he could take the ropes. He doesn't want to take the ropes. So Brandon, uh, well, wow, I guess he really wants to do the right thing in here. I would save myself the pain, but you can't fault a man for having pride and integrity. I certainly won't. Back in the day, your old timers, your greats, Bruno San Martino would not go to the ropes to break a hold. He'd fight out of it like a man. And I think that's what Brandon's imitating. And look at the fight. How can you not get behind that? How can you not support a guy like this? Look at the pain, this is excruciating. But this guy is not giving up. He's setting a good example before our very eyes. Unbelievable hearts. Look at him. Zero serious about this, man. He's got that grip from the front. Brandon, though, says no. He keeps saying no. He's got another, he's got both feet underneath him. And look at this, Zero grinding harder. Brandon hanging in there. Look at the pain that he's in this kid. Oh, oh. And there he goes. Oh, Brandon. He is just working him over, man. How much can Brandon take? Maybe he's going to submit. Maybe it'd be smart business to submit. Give up one fall to get out of there and live the fight again, but I don't know. Brandon just got so much pride and integrity. I'm not bashing that, folks. Zero gold, command of the nervous system here, and Brandon Campbell's is being compromised, folks. Brandon's hanging. Oh, Brandon might dip out, and that's what he would do. He'd pass out before he would give it up. He might be passed out, folks. He might. This might be the first fall. And it is not. It is not. I thought I saw the hand drop. 15 minutes gone in the match. 15 minutes remain. Badass Brandon Campbell. Look at him moving the hands, moving the wrists, the fingers, trying to get some blood flow back. And they've got to be tingling and numb by now. Got to feel like he's grabbing a pin cushion. Because that nerve hold has been on there for a while. Look at Brandon making fists. That's a smart way to get that blood flow. It's just like when they tell you to make a fist so they can get the blood flowing to draw blood. Brandon Campbell, wisely, wisely combative, pries him off, and a couple of elbows to the stomach, and here he comes. Oh, and he hit him right in the throat. He got him with a double thrust to the throat. And now he's going to the head and neck, and it's still around those carotid arteries, which those nerves are tied into the trapezius, or the nerves in the trapezius muscle. And yeah, the neck of Brandon Campbell is being compromised. Zero so smart by sticking to these holds. He knows he can't compete with Brandon move-wise, not with Brandon's power game. He did a decent job wrestling with Brandon, but this is his kink, as you kids like to say. The holds and the mastery of what these holds do to a body. This is how the Japanese wrestlers do it, man. This is how they roll. Nothing dirty about it. Effective. Look at how methodical he is. He's trying to keep Brandon down, but Brandon Scooch, he sits down to try to pop him back down from getting to the ropes, but I think it's inevitable. Brandon is working. He's working for it. He's working for it. He's not there yet. Don't count our chickens. Don't count our chickens before they're hatched. Badass Brandon Campbell, and look at him chop away at those muscles again. Gets it around there, and Brandon is so close. He might have to give up a fall here. He might have to give up a fall here, seriously. The different angles that he's come, and Marcus the Science Smith trying to discourage him, telling him it's okay to quit. That just pissed Brandon off more. Brandon's gonna make it to that rope, watch. Now he's pissed off, now he's pissed off. And, and can he get it, can he get it? He's there, he's out of harm's way, at least for the time being. Marcus the Science Smith's face, just said a thousand words, man. Look at that, just the expression on his face. Brandon Campbell, the damage is done, the sweat is pouring off him. 
Zero, giving him no leeway. No, now here it comes. Like Buzz Buzzer, man, going in there to pick the bones. It's not the referee's fault. It's too hard to manage handling this kind of matchup when you've got somebody on the outside. Marcus the Science Smith knew he'd, he'd be a factor in this matchup more than just coaching or advising. And here goes the cover. One, two, no! Brandon Campbell. Here he goes again. One, two, no! Brandon Campbell kicking out like he means it, and he means it. He loves having this title, folks. One, two, no! And that last kick out was the most powerful kick out. He's going over to Marcus Desai and Smith. And I can't believe Marcus did give him some good advice. Brandon Campbell is still compromised. Not showing a lot of signs of life over there. I think Marcus is trying to speak Japanese. Choppa from Osaka. I don't think that's typically Japanese. Going at him again. And now he's just catching him between the eyes with that thing. So much smarter to hit him in the forehead with the palm of the hand like that than it is with the fist. The knuckles can break very easily. The palm doesn't. The palm bruises, but these Japanese men, when they deal with their martial arts, they've numbed up. Look at that beautiful jackknife, too. Brandon out of harm's way. You gotta hand it to Brandon Campbell. This is a way better match than I expected. Zero Gold is a, he's really on the map now. He is on the map in Premier Pro Wrestling because nobody, not too many people, can compromise Brandon Campbell. And let's face it, he is punishing Brandon Campbell. And look at that, he goes right back to that nerve hold. Brandon trying to move the arms, the hands, anything, keep the blood flow, keep that tingling to stop. Look at Brandon, he's trying to get himself in that zone. He's trying to find that fifth gear. And once he finds that fifth gear, it's on like Donkey Kong. Zero Gold has got to keep him down. If he gives Brandon Campbell an inch right here, Brandon Campbell will take a mile. It's just his nature, just how he's built, man. There's a story there. 20 minutes gone, 10 minutes remain, 10 minutes left. And I just realized we haven't seen a fall. We haven't seen one fall yet. Here comes Brandon off the ropes. Swing better, better. Brandon on the sunset. This might be the foot. No. He rolls through. Oh. You've got to hand it to Zero Gold under the tutelage of Marcus the Science Smith. It seemed ridiculous, but it isn't. These guys are real. And that's the last thing Charlie Hustle and Marcus the Science Smith needed. Somebody else to be in their quote-unquote stable, but this guy is here to stay. He is establishing himself tonight. And look at him go right back to the horrible, horrible nerve hold. Just chipping away at Brandon. Look at Brandon's face, it says it all. Look at how red Brandon's ears are, the discoloration from the stress and the pain, the adrenaline, the testosterone. He's weakened him. He's breaking him down. Marcus the Science Smith stumbling in front of me like a penis trying to say something. I'll give you a little intro, a little commentary. Brandon Campbell getting up. He's getting up. He's fighting up. He's doing one hell of a job at that. He's displaying a shitload of heart. What's he going to do? He's got to do something to get out of harm's way, one way, shape, or form. Brandon Campbell is underneath him. Brandon Campbell's trying to step up. I don't think he can do it, folks. He did it! Son of a bitch, the strength on that kid. The strength on that kid. But he's got to follow up. Look at Zero goes back to the nerve. Brandon's legs are quivering. His legs are quivering. His nerve hold is really taking its effect on Brandon. Brandon's got to do something. And what does he do? Just falls back in. And now Brandon Campbell snapmares him quick. Brandon Campbell with a dragon sleeper on zero gold. He takes it to the middle of the ring. There's no escape. There is no escape. There is no escape. I don't know how. Zero. Look at Marcus the Science Smith, the concern on his face. Zero gold is stuck. He's stuck, man. He's in no man's land. And Brandon Campbell is fighting fire with fire. Oh, no. Unbelievable athleticism. Unbelievable athleticism by zero gold. 
Everybody and anybody's got to be impressed. This might do it. One, two. No! Ho -ho! Folks, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Wow. What a plan Marcus the Science Smith and Zero Gold had coming into this one. If Brandon is going to keep that title tonight after all this punishment, he's really going to have to stay tough. I think he's got loads and loads of tough. He's got Kong size balls. Folks. Oh, look at those shots right into the. Those got to be tenderized right now like 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 uh, like meat oh man how much can he take head has got to be hurting the ears got to be hurting the next guy oh and he digs right in you heard the slap on both sides and brandon campbell zero gold might be the one to dethrone brandon campbell's king of the iron man run he might be it's a long shot it was a long shot but he's wrestled one hell of a match yet, even though we haven't seen a pinfall. But Brandon Campbell, to his credit, hasn't submitted once. Hasn't submitted once. He's only gone to the ropes when he absolutely had to. Look at him, he's still trying to get over there. Remarkable courage. He's trying so hard, how much can he take? How much can he take and keep moving forward, man? The referee is giving him opportunities. Now would not be a good time to submit or pass out, especially coming up on the 25 minute mark. We're out of time. Brandon Campbell is almost out of options. But look at him fight up, up to the knees. He's got the left foot under him. Now the right foot follows. He backs in, but Zero's not relinquishing. Yes, he relinquished the hold. Brandon with some forearms, another forearm. There's not as much behind those as there were early on, is there? Reverse by zero, Brandon goes flying into the corner. And that's, oh, but Brandon out of harm's way, man. Backdrop, but Brandon can't follow up. Five minutes left in the match, five minutes remain. Unbelievable, who wants it? What a backdrop by Brandon Campbell. Not sure if that was just reaction or if he meant to do it, man, because he's taking so much punishment. Look at the body shake, the muscles shake. I've never seen anybody work the nerve hold for that long and the effects it has on the human body. And he caught him under that, but Zero's still up to his credit. Oh, belly to back, belly to belly. Brandon Campbell going in. But does he possess enough power? The regular Brandon Campbell would have had him. But at this point, after all that punishment, man, he's worn out. What's gonna be? What's Brandon gonna do? He got the fall away, but it was slow, folks. It was slow, and Brandon is very slow to get up. So now a zero goal. This is really getting dramatic out here. This is really getting dramatic out here. Oh man! And there goes the referee. The referee, we're gonna see disqualification. What are we gonna see? Four minutes remain in the match. Four minutes left. Referee Ian Anderson down. Marcus the Science Smith still outside. He's outside the ring. You wanna know why he's still outside the ring? Because he knows that badass Brandon Campbell is starting to mount a comeback. And he don't want any part of it. Oh, he thinks he's safe out there outside the ring. And here comes, he picked him up by the hair, by the ears. Swing and duck by Marcus. They got him in the full Nelson now. Oh, and Zero hit his own band. They made a big mistake here. Oh, and he double noggin knocks him. And here we go, here we go. And he's going to try to do this new move he's been working on called the Brandon Bomb. Let's see if he can land it. He got him. He got him. Can he get him for the cover? One, two, three. First fall goes to badass Brandon Campbell. There's three minutes left in the match. 27 minutes gone. Wow. That was climactic. Wow. Unbelievable. What a match, what a story, what drama. They're both taking so much punishment. This is really a good definition of what Premier Pro Wrestling's King of the Iron Man division is. And we're not going anywhere with it, folks. It may take a while to catch on, but for those of you that have seen these, you know what I'm talking about. 
And tonight, man, these guys are really earning that moniker. And I can't believe, again, I'm so impressed with zero gold. Unbelievable amount of punishment. Way more formidable than I'd ever imagined. Brandon Campbell going back to the Dragon Sleeper. Let's see if he can get a submission or if he can get a pass out. Let's see, gotta give it to Zero Gold. It's his turn to show how tough he is. Marcus the Science Smith is nowhere to be seen. Two minutes remain, two minutes remain. Zero Gold, you can't see it from where you're sitting. I can because it's right in front of me. He was four inches from that rope. Mark, uh, Brandon just reached back into that hold, pulled him back, thwarted that effort, and here comes a knee to the forehead, and that time he jammed his head into the knee while throwing both knees, and he's out of that hold. That's one way out, and it was an effective way. And these two guys, man, he can't hardly stand. Brandon's not up yet. Wow. 90 seconds. There's Marcus the Science Smith. I see his little arm over there. This has been a grueling matchup. What a King of the Iron Man match. And Zero doesn't care anymore. I don't think Brandon does either. There's not a lot behind those blows. Not at 29 minutes, folks. And that's what we're creeping up on. Oh, he dropped him like a bad habit. One minute left. Now let's see if he can get over there quick enough and get a pinfall with one minute left. One, two. Oh, Brandon Campbell. Unbelievable. What a matchup. These guys are gassed, folks. Gassed. But look at Zero cranking up that energy. 40 seconds left. No. Oh, Brandon Campbell with a crucifix attempt. Brandon Campbell got that leg. He's going to try to tie him up and submit him. 30 seconds. Zero gold, you've got to give him credit for not tapping. 20. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Your winner and still king of the Iron Man, badass Brandon Campbell.